Welcome to This Week in West Hempstead, sponsored by Stern and Spiegel LLP, 516-873-1683. Let us solve your problems. And by Tiffany Dry Cleaners, environmentally safe. Pick up and delivery in West Hempstead and surrounding communities, 718-309-5222. Here are your host, David and Norm. Take it away, gentlemen. All right. Thank you, Dan. And uh, welcome, Norm and Hi, uh, Adam. It's, uh, it's great to see you. Got a lot going on for uh, this week in West Hempstead. I think we're first going to talk about sinkholes. Um, you know, so there was a story that I saw on uh, Nextdoor, which is a social media site. A woman posted a picture of a sinkhole. Didn't think much of it until WNBC decided to cover it, and they sent a reporter, Paisy Chang, who actually worked for me like 20 years ago, so I was excited to see her. That's just an aside, but uh, wow, there was like a huge hole in the ground, you know, by this by these people's houses. Pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, it was the size of an SUV. Uh, yeah, these things happen from time to time. The water gets underground, it dissolves rock. Uh, or there's a cesspool you know, that's been buried for God knows how long, and all of a sudden there's enough moisture in the ground to let it collapse. But it's pretty scary. It, it was crazy, and uh, you know, one of the comments on on our Facebook site was that well, the person should just install a uh, uh, a pool because they already got the hole in it. So I thought that was a uh, actually well, a pretty relevant comment. That sinkhole is almost as big as the four holes you can find at Echo Park. That uh, nobody could explain why there's still four holes there with no water in them. Well, uh, yes, and I'm thinking that <laughs> perhaps the water from Echo Park Pool left the pool <laughs> and then went all the Ended way to like Eagle Avenue section where the sinkhole was and then you know, somehow... If you could make a swimming hole out of that sinkhole, I think you'd be in business. Yeah, you know... Uh, uh, I was at Echo Park last week. They assured me it is opening in October. October's next week, so I, uh, I'm not holding my... Yeah, well, you know, what Don Clavin uh, assured... Us and, and told Adam that in writing, uh, October first. So what? No, no, no. It's that? not happening the first. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what day in October, but they were sure it was opening in October. Listen, so the pool, the building will be open. There won't be any water in the pool, but at least the <laughs> no. All the water open. is in the sinkhole. In the sinkhole. Yeah, but, but you can <laughs> still walk the pool, which is nice. But you could use the shower at Echo Park, so there's a little bit of water there. <laughs> no, but that's the whole problem. Echo Park. You know, complex actually has more than just a pool. Has a gym that never reopened since COVID. Yeah, nothing could explain that. Uh, yeah, and apparently they read the sauna, the, the steam room. But those have all been redone since 2020. And they're just close. shut down. Uh, you know, just not. Uh, it, it, I'm going to get all, all for Clem. No, and I think the real issue is that nobody's really accountable. There's no facilities manager who has who's a liaison to the public. Even when you ask Don Clavin or somebody else, yeah, we think you know you, you go to the website. There's no information about and, it. And closed, let we called it the Parks Department. Got no answer from them either. We've been doing this for months. Like the taxpayers it's, it's, who fund the place don't have a right to information. I, well, I, speaking I, of Don Clavin, his name is on every lawn in town. Yeah, what's going on? Really? Is there anybody signs. else running? against him? What, what's going on? I, I don't know. Well, first of all, the elections are uh, November 7th. I'd rather vote for Cliff Clavin. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I like Cliff Clavin. Great mailman. He was, yeah, yeah, you know, actually, Nam. <laughs> So I, I, I believe that the lawn signs, first of all, they're very annoying, and they they fill land holes. They probably could fill the uh, sinkhole, which would be a good use for the lawn sign. But I think the real question is, who is there is someone who's running against him. But I have, nobody knows. They have no signs. So, no, so, so we should so invite that person to come on this week in West Hempstead. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it potentially could be a, a runaway for Clavin, but again, we really just don't okay, have Okay, if any you're running against John Clavin, please give Give us a call. Absolutely. <laughs> Reach out to us. At, Drop a uh, note on Facebook. <laughs> WestHempstedEcho.com or on Remember, Facebook and uh, all of that stuff. We have some good news, though, Dave, don't we? Don't we actually have some good we news? We never have any good news no. lately. It's <laughs> all this. All no, I am, I am holding okay, go. in my grubby hands a, a notice that showed up in my uh, mailbox the other day. They're going to resurface parts of the area right around the presidential section. Oh, right great. Where we're live, broadcasting. Including. Wilson Street, which I have been Whoa. raging about for ages. Before uh, you get more sinkholes opening up. Uh, yeah, very <laughs> possibly, but uh, it's been the contract has been awarded. H and L Contracting. Good luck to you, gentlemen. Um, and um, I don't know when they're starting, but they're going to mill. They're going to resurface. They're going to all kinds of things. Um, you, you can't see it from this, but I'm going to put a copy of this up uh, when we when we edit this later. But uh, it's actually yeah. quite good news. That, that is exciting. That actually is very exciting news. And the roads around here 
are horrible. You could break an axle. Except for Hampstead it's, Avenue and Nassau Boulevard. Yeah, which did a very nice job, and hopefully it lasts. Yeah, they did a great job. You can, you can go zero to ninety in like three seconds. Yeah, no, no problem. It's, it's like, ah, oh, the light turns green. Let's just let's just go. Stop sign on Woodfield. Uh, Where's that light, by the way, for Woodfield? You know what? I need to calm down. So perhaps now is a good time no, no, for no, us uh, I mean, to take a, a, a quick commercial break. Tiffany Dry Cleaner is ready to handle all your cleaning, laundering, and dry cleaning needs. We offer free pickup and delivery Sunday to Friday in all communities. Give us a shot. And we're back. And, uh, you know, outside of road traffic and sinkholes and all that other stuff, there's a whole lot going on, exciting stuff that's going on at the high school. Mm -hmm. You know, right now we got the, we got the homecoming coming up on Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, I think there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a parade, and there's a carnival. I, I actually love that parade. The parade starts at Chestnut Street. It goes up um, uh, Roosevelt, right? It goes to the park, or it goes to the high school. It, it's, it's a fun parade. They have little floats, the, the junior high school marches, they have a marching band. Uh, it, it's a lovely small town deal. It's it's really exciting stuff, and uh, they have the carnival, and then the Rams are playing. I think they're playing against the Oyster Bay Oystermen. I may have that right or wrong. I'm not exactly sure. Unfortunately, the West Hempstead Rams are 0-3, and that part I have right. So uh, we're hoping that they're going to turn around their losing streak, and then this week with homecoming and the victory for the Rams, what could be better for the community? Well, there's also a 70-year um, anniversary of the high school. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The 70-year uh, anniversary of, of the high school uh, that we've been talking to uh, Carl Reister Sr. about, uh, which is taking place uh, this Saturday. I believe it's uh, about 5 p.m. not exactly sure. The, no, they uh, say there are hundreds of people coming. Yeah, he's, he's really excited about it. We're looking forward to, uh, to covering. Uh, we're going to be getting video. Uh, from it. We're going to be posting it up on westhempstedecho.com and seeing all these people coming back to the community and seeing the connections that they formed all these years is really incredible. It's beautiful. So, you know, we're, we're very excited for, uh, for the whole West Hempstead community to have, uh, to have this reunion. And when you're in Malvern, you can visit the Crossroads uh, Farm. It's open on Saturdays from 9 to 1. Uh, that's their fall deal. And I assume they have some programming coming up for the yeah. fall. They usually yeah. have the kids with the hay ride. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And, and we would probably tell you all the movies that are playing in Malvern. But A, you can go to the movie clock or just Google it. And B, it's the same movies as they were next week, so last week, so don't worry about it. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for uh, this week in West Hempstead. Thank you, Norm. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Adam. Open the pool. Open our pool. Free our pool. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Take care. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you would like to sponsor our program, much like Stern and Spiegel and Tiffany Dry Cleaners, reach out to us at sales at westhempstedecho.com.